Hey, what is up guys, I'm video, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on why Joel Embiid could be better than LeBron James, or is he better than LeBron James? Now, before y'all get into my neck, bite my neck off, kill me, crucify me, and rip my organs out of my asshole for making the video that Joel Embiid is better than LeBron, obviously he's not better than LeBron yet, yet. So, without further ado, let me get right into the video, and let me maybe persuade you to see why I think he could be better than LeBron. Alright, so the first thing I'm actually going to get into is why he could actually be better than LeBron. And obviously, the first reason is his pure confidence. Because you, as you've seen, in the, his two preseason games, in the pa like in the past two preseason games that he's played, he has managed to dare Giannis Valanciunas, that plays for the, um, the Raptors, sh to shoot a three. But he turned his back to him and said, shoot it, I don't care, left him wide open. And obviously, it went as you thought. Valley Judas missed the three. And, I mean, he told him to shoot it. Like, it, that's an NBA player you told that to, to just shoot the ball. And he missed. And that's just, you just have to have confidence in yourself because he makes it you look really dumb. But he missed it. Like, it's crazy. And then also, which he just did playing against the Heat just the other day. He told the Heat bench that one of the best centers in the entire league in Hassan Whiteside could not guard him. By the way, Hassan Whiteside averages 17.0 points per game, 4.1 rebounds per game, 2.1 blocks per game. That is crazy. He has so much confidence that he said that Hassan Whiteside cannot guard him. And off the court, he said... To get him off the court because he can't guard him. That was his exact words. And by the way, Giannis was, I mean, yeah, no, 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 not Giannis. I'm not talking about him. Hassan Whiteside, he was an all defensive player last year. He was on the all defensive team. And that's a player that he said can't guard him. It's, you know, he just has so much confidence in himself to be able to say that about one of the best centers in the league and just dare another center to shoot it. I don't care. Like, that's just pure confidence. And I think that's more confidence than LeBron has because, conf like, LeBron never really shows how cocky he is. Joel Embiid backs it up when he's cocky and everything. All right. And that's the only reason I could think of to, like, why he is better than LeBron. But now let's get into the reasons why he is not better than LeBron. Just, like, his impact on the game. Yes, yes, um... He's only played 31 games. But, like, when LeBron was in the game, he was able to bring a terrible 2007 Cavs team to the finals. Yes, he lost, but he single-handedly carried that team to the finals. And he can just bring any team to the finals that he's on. But I don't know about Joel Embiid. Yeah, he's only played 31 games, but, I mean, he's never really showed me that LeBron thing like that. I don't think anyone's ever going to be able to be like that, where single-handedly bring a team to the finals. Like, if you're on it, you're automatically a finals contender. But Joel Embiid, like, he he has a good team around him. He still can't even make the playoffs. But I do think he's a really good player. And, like, then, like, LeBron has more of an overall play. Like, he can do everything. And Joel Embiid can really only defend the paint, play defense and block shots and score in the paint. Well, he's getting better at shooting, but, I mean, he's still mostly just a, like, not a perimeter shooter, like a driving and cutting sh score but LeBron can do everything he can play defense can drive can dribble can shoot can do he can do pretty much everything yes I did come in his later years but then you also have injuries and that's a huge part Joel Embiid over three years has only played 31 games and like over three years only playing 31 games is awful and plus with how young he is and his knee injuries but then LeBron never really had a major injury now I know what you're thinking well that's a lot of things to say why he's not better than LeBron and only one good thing well think about this Joel Embiid, he's so young and only played 31 games, you can't really tell if he d doesn't have the impact that LeBron has. I don't think he'll be as major as LeBron, but I do think they're going to be a playoff contender if Joel Embiid can stay healthy. I think Joel Embiid will single-handedly bring him to a fifth or fourth seed in that conference because he's so good, and plus Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz. And then also his overall play, LeBron didn't start being able to shoot threes and do everything really good until later in his career. So no telling what Joel Embiid is going to do. And Joel Embiid is already starting to practice his shooting. So no telling if his all-around play can get just as good as LeBron's. And his injuries, that's just up to see if he can somehow stay healthy. That's not up to anyone. It's pretty much up to God who's going to get injured or not. But yeah, so when you think about it, Joel Embiid is not that far away from LeBron. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate just for saying he might be as good as LeBron, but I really do think he could be as good as LeBron. Maybe not better, but just really close to being as good, like on that Kevin Durant and LeBron level one day. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. And at any point, if you did like the video, hit comment below and hit the like button. And also hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me as I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. We've been kind of slowing down, but I'm still going to truck right through it. We're going to start going up again. We're, we're, we're awesome. And kids, don't think I forgot about you. Remember, never do vegetables. Always eat your drugs. Stay safe. Where's your boat? Goodbye. Boom.